Greetings and welcome back everyone to Stardew Valley and of course to Dapper Del Farm where today is a free day for us unfortunately we forgot Marnie's birthday yesterday and I feel terrible about that but uh, there's not too much we can do after the fact other than go and give her a late birthday present which I will be trying to do now hello fortune tellers but it's a good humor today I think you'll have a little extra luck Ooh, my head back down the mine looking for the dwarf scroll then and it's going to be cloudy with gusts of wind throughout the day. Hey, Leah. Always remember to keep your eyes peeled for wild food. Uh, wild food. There's lots out there. Indeed, there is. All right. Do I have any goat's cheese? Yes, I do. Here you go. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. You are most welcome. All right. Let's drop. Well, there isn't actually much to drop off, I'll be honest with you. Um, let's take these out. Pop the cheese in there and take some of the tomatoes out and pop the goat's cheese in there. Okay, off we go. Now these I can just, I'll sell them straight away, may as well. Uh, we will sell those tomatoes as well, I don't want them clogging up my inventory. Greetings from Calico Desert, come visit me soon, I'm really bored out here. I've included a gift from the desert, you can come and thank me in person. Oh, thank you very much Sandy. Notice, does anybody have one of them battery packs? My TV remote died, and it's a real hassle getting off the couch. Thank <laughs> you. Sure, Pam, I'm sure I can uh, sort you out with that. Uh, let's see, everything else is good here. Yes, I think today is going to be a good day for Daffodel Farm and for Stardew Valley, or rather Pelican Town, and I guess Stardew Valley as a whole. I'm not sure. The Stardew Valley is a pretty wide area for me to just be making. Uh, Boastful claims that it's going to be a good day, but uh, I'm feeling fairly positive this morning. So let's go ahead and do our best. Scare off ten crows. Well done, little scarecrow. And we need to grab all of these early on. This will ensure that we get a really healthy uh, return of the money for today. Now I am going to apologise in advance. You may hear scratchy scratching from Tally at the moment. She's she's quite. Uh, Unsettled because of the heat at the moment, and I've tried waiting for for her to settle down. It's just not happening, and I and I don't want to send her away as if she's being punished for being too hot. That that feels way too awful. So she's still there with her sisters, and uh, she's just chilling out at the moment. But she may uh, cause a little bit of noise as she uh, dances around her cage, scratching. Trying to get rid of her itches. Her heat-induced itches. I'm fairly certain that's what it is, anyway. Pieces of hay. Uh, we've got a reasonable amount, but we could always do with them more. Uh, excuse me. Thank you very much. Right, let's have a look. Uh, they're not particularly happy. I should probably have put them back last night, because that is, that is a surprisingly low amount of... Uh, produce day. I think it's that they don't like being out when it's windy. So I'm going to have to make a note to let them back in. I guess I was... This was my attempt to experiment. It seemed like no ill effects came from having them out and about, but uh, it does appear that maybe that was incorrect and that they do actually get a little bit upset if the the gate is left open and it's especially windy outside. Oh, we milked you yesterday. <laughs> so sorry, Pony. My bad. Uh, no, I'm not going to milk anyone. <laughs> you thought I was. You fools. I have no faith. Oh, Blossom has no milk either. I think they're probably going to be a little bit upset. Yeah, Bill. Uh, well, actually, no, I wasn't trying to milk Bill. There you go. I know that Bill has no milk. There we are. Fantastic. Alright, let's go ahead and drop this off. It's going to be fairly low on the artisan goods and the animal products today, but that's just the way it's going to be. Let's go and have a poke in. Hello? Yeah, still going. I'll water this anyway. There we are. Now then. Right, we're going to be going to Marnie probably as a, as a priority today. Simply because I feel so horribly, horribly guilty about not managing to get her birthday present to her yesterday. These things only come around once a year. There's no excuse for missing them. I've got a whole year to prepare. 
such a scallywag friend. Um, let's see, what do we want to put in there? What, what would you like to pickle today? Um, pickled pumpkin. Yes, I think so. Also, let's go. Oh, no, we've done all of... Wow, we've actually gotten all of the... Uh, the wool processed. I'm genuinely quite surprised by that. Barb, rhubarb jelly, so good. So, so very, very good. There we go. Wait, let's drop this off. Now then. Uh, yeah, we'll do the uh, greenhouse towards the end of the day, I think. I want to make sure that I get everything else sorted first. There we go. And there we are, finally. Right, we want the glasses. Did I have anything else? Was there, was there any trash? No. Okay, well, that's actually pretty nice. Very well. Let's just get you going. Now then, let's have a look at a couple of things that we can build. We could go for a preserve jar, a keg. I don't believe we've got the oak resin for. No, not currently. Not currently. Um, do we have anywhere where I'm storing up the pumpkin? Uh, sorry, the cactus fruit? New. No. Alright, cactus fruit can go in there then. We're also going to get some truffle oil as well. There we are. Alright, well, I should have a diamond that I can go and take to Marnie straight away. I'm just going to go ahead and sell the crayfish and the snails. I, I don't particularly need them, I don't think. We'll drop that off. Also that. And I think we're... Oop, why is there fried mushroom in there? I have no idea. I think we're good otherwise. Yeah, I think we are in fact good. So I'm going to go drop off the produce. We're going to take a cashier down to visit Marnie and uh, try and beg forgiveness for not managing to make it to her birthday celebrations. And that would actually be quite a nice thing added to the game, I think. If people would actually have birthday parties. Just an extra layer of something for me to forget to go to and then feel horribly guilty about. Let's just heap the guilt on. Hey, it's napkin. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Now, I wouldn't mind going to visit Clint again today and getting a load of um, iron ore. I would like to upgrade my copper hoe to a silver hoe. Uh, sorry, a um, iron hoe. As for gold watering can, I mean, I wouldn't say no to turn it into an iridium watering can. I really wouldn't. I think it would be great, in fact. But that is going to be... That's going to involve a very good mining expedition into the Skull Caverns. So I'm not certain we're going to be able to do that. And there's absolutely no point in me going and buying any more sprinklers at this point. Hello, I wonder if Mr. Lewis gets lonely in that because of his... <sighs> Money. There you go. This is an incredible gift, thanks. You're welcome. I'm sorry it wasn't at the right time for your birthday. I'll definitely be going to the saloon tonight. What else is there to do? Oh, that's true. I did get rid of your job, didn't I? I mean, not directly, you understand, but that, let's face facts. It, it was kind of my fault. Okay, well, we don't have much else we need to do, so how about we go ahead, go over to Cl uh, Clint's, buy up a load of stuff from him, and then... Ideally, get our hoe upgraded so that we can start hoeing in the mine a lot better. Because I really want to get that dwarf scroll. <gasps> Clint! Clint! What? What? I have been abandoned. Abandoned! What a scallywag. Oh, wow. Now, I've got to get that battery pack for Pam as well, but I can do that at any point. Uh, how annoying. Today was the day, Clint. I was going to upgrade this hoe. I've been umming and ahhing about upgrading the hoe for like a million years. And now, when I want to do it, you're not around. I usually feel lonely this time of year, but not anymore. Oh, I'm really glad about that, Abigail. Now then. What shall I buy? You know what? I'm going to buy a bouquet. We'll take Leah some flowers at the end of the evening. And we're off. It doesn't need to be a, uh, a reason for getting someone you care about flowers. 
I'm a very big fan of just randomly buying them gifts all the time. That somehow means more. I don't know why it feels that way. I'm... <laughs> Before, before everyone thinks, oh, that's really lovely, you must be a great boyfriend. On the flip side, I, I don't do the whole Valentine's Day thing. I just think any sort of organized holiday is just, I, I don't know, it feels like, like commercialized cheer. It just feels like the meaning isn't there. If I'm doing it because it's the day to do it, it's like, no, you shouldn't like celebrate your partner all for that. Matthew, your mother, your father, on the uh, the agreed upon day to do this sort of thing. Now, you, it should be something that you you're thankful for all year round. It just feels weird otherwise. Um, well, there's not much point in gro gobbling this down, but I guess I will anyway, just for the added speed. There we go. Tally's burrowing around at the moment. Uh, right now, I've received some comments that. People have found the scroll on level 41, so uh, let's go down and start making our way through here. Oh, there's our way down straight away. I'm not going to use it, of course. We're going to be looking around for things. I will mine everything while I'm here. There we go. Ouch. No. Now, apparently, someone found the scroll when killing a dust sprite. We can but hope. You know, I've got way too many things on my inventory bar, so let's sort that out, shall we? You don't need my fishing rod or my copper pan. I do need my hoe, though. The bait doesn't need to be there. The bouquet, pretty much all of these things don't need to be there. I will, however, keep these there because it's a, a nice indicator of what I've managed to collect. So we'll keep those around. Hello. I do like this music. Thank you very much. Uh, thermal foot. Well, I'll, I'll just sell those, I guess. There's really no reason to keep hold of those. But plenty of opportunity for me to find geodes. Precious, precious geodes. Now, given my specific uh, skill set, geodes are actually fairly easy to come by if you mine out every rock on a level. You'll tend to end up with a reasonable amount of geodes for your efforts. And I actually uh, think that's quite a useful thing to do because you can get such varied items from geodes, especially if you can get an Omni Geo because you've actually got a chance of getting Iridium from an Omni Geo. I don't believe I've ever had Iridium from any of the other Geos, so I could be wrong on that. Um, if I have been, then by all means do let me know in the comments as I can uh, pass that on. But there we go, there's an Omni Geo. Wonderful. Let's grab all of these. Have we got enough time? Yes, I did. Fantastic. Get through there too. Yes. Sorry, Bat. Well, actually, I'm not sorry. You should be thanking me. I left without killing you. Uh, is there anything else I want to put there? The frozen tear. Damn. It's annoying that they're stacking in an odd way. Um, I'm not going to worry about the frozen tear being on my inventory bar. In fact, I'm not going to worry about that being there either. I would like the geodes there, though. Pop the ores over there. I'm, it's unlikely I'm going to get any gold ore this low down. So I'll just set it up like this in that kind of order. There, there's space for gold there. And, you know, I'm also, also holding out hope that maybe I will just randomly find some iridium. Very unlikely, but, you know, a man can dream. Stop hurting me. No! Ouch! You've slowed me down. Why have I been slimed? go. I can't wait until I've got a uh, item which uh, I have been informed by several people now is the reward for the slime uh, quest to kill 1,000 slimes. Apparently you get a ring which means the slimes no longer bother you. I don't know if it's because they don't actively attack you but walking into them is still a, a danger or you are flat out immune to their effects. If it was the latter, then that would be amazing to have for the slime hutch, because it would mean that I could just walk around in the slime hutch without taking any damage at all. If it's the former, then the slime hutch will still be a bit of a pain, but just, you know, not too much of one, I guess. There we go, it is 6.30. We'll leave around, uh, well, we'll leave at the end of this level. Let's hope it's a nice long one now that I've said that. 
Then that should give me enough time to go check on the greenhouse. I don't need to water anything in there, so I don't need to leave a lot of time. But I would like to get home, you know, before it gets too terribly late. And I can give Leah the bouquet. And maybe if we're super lucky, the night will be the night. Because I am very much aware that we don't have an awful lot of time left in order to start a family. There we go, it's 7.20. If we can get back by 8 o'clock, that will probably be fine. Ooh, that one is possibly a gem node. It's been a long time since I've been down in the mines. Yes, it was. Fantastic. There we go. More iron is always good. You know what? It isn't so bad that we've come down to this level because iron is fairly prevalent on this level, and since we couldn't get any from Clint's today, yeah, it makes me feel a little bit less bad about the whole uh, whole situation. I really do want to get that hoe upgraded, though. I need to find an artifact down here. Now, it's thankful that there is a small chance that uh, regular enemies will drop the artifact, but ultimately, I suspect the best way of us getting one is just finding a level that has got a lot of uh, hoeable ground, and either bombing it or hoeing it, depending on... Oh, damn it. Depending on how good of a hoe we have by the time... Nope. Ow. My nope is not heated. And I was smacked in the face anyway. There we go. And... Here we are. Not too bad. That's two iron ingots worth. Certainly could have been worse. And just because it is a little tiny marginal bit faster to do it that way. <laughs> You're not coming along. In fact, I'm going to drop that off as well. Um, we'll take these along. There we go. Yeah, all right, then we can grab everything. Right, Akasha. No, I'm not going to leave you here. Don't worry. I might have if I was super, 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 super behind time, but not tonight. We're good. Now, that being said, eh, we're probably going to turn in straight away. I'm not going to go to the greenhouse. I Now that I know that the, the crops are safe, They'll just not be harvested. That's the worst thing that can happen right now. I'm fine with that. As for all of my items here, we'll just keep hold of them. I should go and visit Sandy, of course. Where's Leah? Hey, Leah. I never thought I'd receive a mermaid's pendant so soon after moving here. I'm happy about it, though. Oh, I'm glad. Got you flowers. You want to get more serious? I feel the same way. I mean, yeah, technically, you know what? Maybe, maybe that was me being a bit, uh, a bit silly earlier on, just just thinking too literally. Maybe, maybe she was taking it as a sign that that I did want to get more serious in the sense that I wanted to start a family, which is definitely the case. Now, I'm not sure if I if I need to go to sleep before her or after her at the same time as her. A couple of people have said in the comments that it does matter when I go to sleep and if I go to sleep super late then it causes issues. So, we'll have to see. We made a good bit of money there. 17k of the regular cranberries alone. 7.9, more or less 8k of the gold and 8.7 of the silver. That was actually quite quite amazing. And we didn't do too bad with the uh, jelly as well. 8.8k of the rhubarb as well. Not too bad at all. I would not be too surprised if I was able to get pretty ridiculously rich by the second year in the next season if I I approach things with money making in mind. But that is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you've all enjoyed. Alas, it doesn't look like uh, like there, there are any children on the way just yet. But hopefully in the future I shall keep my fingers crossed and I hope you will do the same. But until next time, do take care everyone.